Hi Leo, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How's it going? Well, let's take a little peek at your weekend coming up. April 28, 29, and 30. Let's see what the angel cards want to show you. Yeah, there's one already jumping out. Ooh, the queen of fire, Leo, yum. <laughs> Another fire sign to play with. I love the queen of fire. She's so warm and compassionate and just, she's generous and kind. She's very, very gracious. And I just love her energy because she's just gracious. She's on it. She's just really, um, She's like a, how can I say it? It's like she's throwing an open house and you're invited and she wants to make sure that you feel just as welcome as everybody else. Even if you're a complete stranger to her, she's going to make you feel welcome. She's going to allow you to feel relaxed in her home. That's the kind of graciousness I'm talking about with her. She's That's my interpretation of her. She can also be fiery. I'm not going to lie. You know, don't. She don't underestimate her by any means, but um, but yeah, she's just gracious, confident. She's alluring, you know. So this energy is someone you may be meeting this weekend, or this may be you. This may be uh, it just feels no Leo. It feels actually like someone you're going to be meeting or not collaborating, but you're going to meet this woman. Huh? Whoa. Okay. Uh, in addition to the Queen of Fire. The Queen of Air is going to join you this weekend. So that could be a very interesting collaboration. It's going to be an interesting weekend, Leo. So this queen, this energy, she is very articulate. She's very savvy. She's very much uh, in charge of her emotions. She's not going to be one to be swayed by uh, theatrics. She's not going to. She can see through all the bullshit. This woman, she's very savvy. She's articulate and intelligent. She weeds through all the stuff to kind of, to kind of get the facts that, of the matter, the root of the matter. She makes decisions based on her 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 logic. She's very logical. Um, yeah, and she's yeah. Don't underestimate her either. Okay. So Leo, it feels like you're going to be encountering some very definite strong feminine energies this weekend, Leo. And one of them may be you, and that's awesome. But it feels like there's some, these two are different energies from you. So let's see what's going on this weekend. Dreamer. Oh, Leo, what are you manifesting? Okay, so the dreamer talks about taking a risk, taking that step of faith in the direction of your dreams. What are you manifesting, Leo? Are these two energies something they're going to help you. They're going to, um, they're going to co-create something with you perhaps. But this is talking about taking that step of faith. And, um, these two energies, the air and the fire, they are part of that co-creation. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let, I, I'm not, let me just get another card because this feels very, oh, the five of fire popped out. So interesting. So this the five of fire talks about competing goals, conflicting interests. So these guys here, the two, the two queens, some could see them as, a, you know, opposite, you know, diametrically opposed because the queen of fire is very fiery. And I say emotional. She's creative. She's very much in tune with, what fuels her from her heart space is how I feel. She's just really run by her creative spark and fire. She's just, just full blown fire, you know, versus the queen of air. She's very much in her mental, mental realm. And she thinks things through. So th in that aspect, I'm feeling two different things for you, Leo, that you may feel like you have to, they're, they're two competing, your, your heart and your mind may be competing against themselves, you know, leading you in two different directions, or you're kind of beating yourself up, going back and forth about something, about your dream. But I'm also feeling, Leo, that they're not competing. We can change this around. Let's reframe this. 
they're not competing against each other per se. If this relates to you, if these two aspects are at work in you and you're having a hard time choosing something, I feel that I need to say that instead of seeing these two creative forces in your life, driving forces, if you will, the mind versus the inspiration, the, the heart, the fire, they're not opposing one another. They're just protecting you. The mind, the mental realm protects because it's also part of the, the story maker, if you will, the egoic. So she, this energy is very savvy. She's a savvy lady. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about because she's lived through many experiences. And so therefore she makes her decisions based on her experiences and facts, things she's witnessed. Versus this, this is my interpretation, okay? This woman here, she's driven by her passion, her fire. She's just fiery. She, her emotions and her, her whole body, it's just a, it's a visceral experience that she is creating. So these two need to learn to work together is what I'm saying. And so there's going to be a place in your weekend for bringing these two beautiful energies, both powerful energies together so they can work together and steer whatever project you're working on in the direction that feels good and safe. Safe is not the right word. Feasible. Feasible popped in my mind. Yet still inspired. It's inspired action. It's inspired by the heart. And yet it makes sense in, a, in the mental realm. It feels okay to do so. It's not foolish in the way that could be dismissed by the air sign. And I'm feeling this energy. So Leo, I'm hoping that you can grab the energy of what I'm feeling because it seems like there's something powerfully dynamic happening this weekend for you. It's just a matter of taking that step forward and it's not really choosing one or the other. I feel it's more of a blending of the two energies so they can synergistically move forward together in a way that is just powerful. Okay, so that's what I feel for you. That's what I'm feeling, Leo, and it's, it's dynamic. So I hope that resonates with you, and I wish you lots of, lots of explosive, creative energies. <laughs> explosive in the best way possible. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.